Hello everybody, I am officially back. Apologies for being gone for so long. However, here I am with a brand new PowerPoint game. So let's get straight into it. This is the Queen card PowerPoint English game. Uh, at the start of the game, there's a very long uh, introduction here and I've uh, edited lots of video clips together into one. So I haven't made a game for a long time and I actually started making this game on the request of students. Originally I made it quite a simple game but I decided to really push the boundaries and make something that I think looks really pretty damn cool. So let's play. Click on that pink arrow and at the beginning here we have explaining about the point system. So I'm actually going to click on skip because I'll show you how the points work as you actually work through the game. So to start with there are 18 questions and I'm going to start by choosing question number one. So as normal it's a template, uh, it is made in kiosk mode so click on the uh, question here. That will reveal the answer and click on the uh, pink part there for the answer and then we get the points. So this game has from one to six points on different various, various different slides. And if you click in the bottom right hand corner here, click on the I feel icon, that will take you to the points counter. Now I'm actually going to talk about the points counter a little bit more today, more than I usually do. So obviously you can choose uh, how many points, we had five points there. Now if one of the teams gets a bomb, you can click on this bomb icon in the bottom left hand corner and we get a few special effects. We get a bomb and a sound and then the uh, card spins in the middle. Now if one of the teams gets uh, change points, click on this pink camera here and again we get some more sound effects and a few visual effects on the screen like that. Nice. And also this points counter screen, it has uh, plus and minus icons here. Please click them very slowly, don't click them too fast because uh, it has a habit of disappearing and not coming back again. Okay, so click on the uh, queen card in the middle and that will take you back to the points counter. I'm going to choose number six. Same system again, click on question, the answer will be revealed. And then click on the pink part. This time we have change points. It's quite a long slide actually. So these cameras come up and then I'm a queen card. And then finally we get this one, change points with another team. Click on the uh, I feel icon in the middle here. That will take you back to the points counter. So you could for example here change the points with five there. And then click on the queen card, that will take you back to the main question screen. I'm going to choose number 10, same again, question and answer. Now this is the choice slide, <laughs> this was quite difficult to make actually. So there's one, two and three, it takes about 10 seconds to load up. Okay, and now we're ready to go. So if you click on number one, uh, for example here we've got six points. I'm going to click on number two. So number two has actually got the bomb, the bomb video is embedded in here. And then click on number three. And we've got seven points there. Yeah, so the bomb video is still running there. Cool. So in the top right hand corner, click on the I feel icon. That will take you back to the points counter. Put in whatever points you want. Click on the queen card and that will take you back to the main uh, question screen. I'm going to choose number 12. Just very quickly here. So number 12 is actually the bomb. This again is quite a long uh, video sequence here. We've got oh no. Put a bomb in there <laughs> and uh, a little bit more video. And then it finishes up here. Bomb, your team loses all points. Click in the top left hand corner on the I feel icon. Takes you to the points counter. Click on the queen card. Takes you back to the main question screen. So the last one I'm gonna choose is number 14. And number 14, this one is it's another video again. This one is the still points, so still five points. And I put some Korean language in here to explain what exactly this means. So there we go, still five points from another team. 
Uh, click on any of these uh, icons here. The one in the middle will be fine, the I feel one there. It takes you to the points counter. Click on the queen card, and then that takes you back to the main question screen. So that is the whole game. Now, the good thing about this game, uh, just to say in the bottom right-hand corner, you can see the I feel icon. Click on that. That will take you back to the points counter. If for some reason you need to go back and change something, and then in the bottom left hand corner, you can see the word bonus. So if I click on bonus, we get another video sequence. And we actually get some more questions. Now, this is open to you to make an 18 question game, a smaller game, or you can add in these six questions. What I tend to do is delete out the word bonus and just not complete another six questions. You can make the game quicker and if you don't have so much time you don't need to play a 24 question game so it's just the same again one two three four five six let me just choose really randomly uh, i'm going to choose number six actually question and answer click on the answer here so this is actually a different slide here this is for six points and again same thing click on the uh, bottom right hand corner here the i feel icon now, when you come back to the question, the, so the points counter here, uh, put whatever points in that you want and try to remember to click on bonus. That will take you back to the bonus question slide. Now, it's possible that you'll make a mistake and you'll click on the queen card and you'll go back to the main question screen. It's not a problem. Just click on the, the bonus icon on that screen and it will lead you back. So it's no big issue. And that is it. That is the game. As always, this is a template. So you can make this game however you like. I believe it's around 283 megabytes. Uh, the fonts are embedded. And so far, the, the PPT has opened on different computers in Windows no problem however i've noticed today that opening in mac it didn't want to let me edit it so i don't know if i can work around that i will see if it's possible to fix that problem but in uh, windows computers there's no problem at all the fonts are embedded and i will put a description in uh, the youtube video if for some reason the fonts don't work how you can download those and install them very quickly and easily Anyway, thank you very much for your patience. Much gratitude for watching this video. I really hope this game will be useful. I have been playing this game for about two or three weeks, but I keep changing it and I keep updating it and trying to improve it. And if it is possible, I may make some more changes. And if you have any suggestions, please tell me as well. As always, students are the best teachers. So if they say anything that you think is useful about this game, let me know and I will change it. And that is it. Thank you so much. Thank you for your patience waiting for a new game. And have a great day. Have a great week. And bye for now. Jalga. Bye bye.